When designing a job using Talon Studio, you need to define the connections between the components. There are various types of connections that define either the data to be processed, the data output, or the job logical sequence. Right-click a component on the design workspace to display a contextual menu that lists all available connections for the selected component. A row connection handles the actual data. The row connections can be main, filter, reject, lookup, which is not a connection choice, it's a second input to a component, output, uniques, duplicates, or combine according to the nature of the flow. The one that's most used is the main connection. It passes on data flows from one component to the other, iterating on each row and reading input data according to the component properties setting. Trigger connections define the processing sequence. They do not handle data. These connections fall into two categories, subjob triggers and component triggers. Each category has a permutation to trigger on success, on error, and when a different defined condition is met. Trigger connections create dependencies between jobs or subjobs, triggering one after the other according to the trigger you use. As an example, here's a job with four components. So far, none of the components are connected. Since it's the most common connection, a main row is often the default connection. So let's start by linking the T-Row Generator component, called Create Customers, to the TMAP component using a main row connection. There are a few ways to do this. First, let's right-click the T-Row Generator to open the context menu, select Row, Main, then click the component we want to link to. Another option is to right-click and drag between components to establish a main row connection. However, main is not the only type of row connection. Talon Studio defines some row connections based on your job. For example, in this TMAP component, we defined an output table called Modified Customer. Defining the table adds the row connection Modified Customer to the context menu. As jobs become more complex, it's imperative to handle the what-ifs. For example, what if something goes wrong and there's an error? This is where triggers are helpful. Remember you can establish triggers for subjobs and components. So, if we want a specific behavior when an error occurs, we can link it to do that. Here, we've used an onSubjob error trigger to create a message box for any errors. You can choose any appropriate component or subjob to create your triggers. Remember to use row and trigger connections to define the flow for jobs and subjobs in Talon Studio.